Well, this is finally here, so I cannot wait to play with it. If you're interested to see how this little palette looks like from Nomad Cosmetics, you're gonna have a first look at it in this hint time with me. So keep on watching. Hello everyone and welcome to the, my channel. My name is Cosmina. If you're new here, please consider to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I am trying really hard to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So I would truly appreciate if you take a minute and press that subscribe button right there. I know for sure we can do it. So please let's join this effort and do it together. All right, so I ordered this little palette on the 8th of June and this is the Nomad X America Sparks Intense Eyeshadow Palette and I paid $39 on it. I paid shipping as well but I also got a $5 discount so yay yummy. <laughs> but yeah, I got this and it was delivered to me I think yesterday so that's been like almost 10 days to get to me it was supposed to get to me in four days but almost nothing gets to me in four days so you know how that goes but before we get into this i do want to say that we still have our giveaway continuing going on and uh if you want to participate make sure you check that description bar and uh, answer the secret question of the day i'm gonna answer the, i'm gonna ask that a little bit later in the video all right let's open this thing up i'm really excited to see how it is this is my very very first nomad cosmetic purchase i've not tried anything from them before i don't know anything i only know what i've seen uh from other people but i know this is an indie brand so Oh, we've got some stuff in here. Okay. Oh my God, this is cute. So this is Visit the National Parks. So you can see all the national parks over here. That is so cool. On the back it says, thank you so much for your order. We hope you love your new Nomad goodies. Enjoy. Thank you so much. Enjoy the parks. Felicia and Addie to Cosmina and then there's my address over there so i'm just putting my finger on top of it but yeah this is kind of cute and i also got uh, an email from them saying thank you and just um to let them know if i need anything from them you know um and also says welcome to the beauty nomad family here's a little bit about our story it was founded in 2015 where India brand that combines love of beauty with passion for exploration. After joining around the world, we discovered that unique beauty is found everywhere. Inspired by this, we started Nomad Cosmetics to celebrate this magnificent planet at breathtaking nature and inspiring destination. Each Nomad product is designed on location, infused with locally inspired ingredients, and brought to life through unique creativity creative designs. We create high performance cosmetics with formula that have no parabens, phthalates, or mineral oil and are, and are probably cruelty free and vegan. And we love you love, we hope you love what you uh, are about to experience. Felicia and Auntie, the co-founders and they're on the back. That is such a cute little thing. I love that. And I do love the fact that it's all about travel. I have a passion for travel as well. So I definitely want to check this brand a little bit more. I was looking at it and I was trying to make up my mind which palette I want to get and which palette I wanted to play with. But then when they announced this one, I was like, yes, there you go. There's going to be a new one. I'm going to go with that one. But also, the colors in here are really, really nice as well. This is nice. Let's see how it's going to look like. Oh, my God. You guys, this is so cool. Like, look at this. That is such a pretty, unique carton. And also, you get a little bit of this. And it says, America Sparks, Wandering, Never Lost. That's so cute. But yeah, this is the unique carton. This looks absolutely beautiful. I love, love, love this. Uh, the fact that you have all this kind of like sticker likes 
such a pretty thing. They did a really good job with this. Um, and on the back, you you get to see the shades right here. Let's take it out. Oh, even inside it has some details. That's so cute. Oh, yeah. All inside it has details like that, too. Yay. Okay, now let's get inside and see. Let's see. Are you ready? Dun, da, da, dun. There you go. Okay, you've seen it enough. Now I need to see it too. <laughs> oh, wow. This is even more beautiful in real life than it was uh, when I was looking at it in on their page, on Instagram page. Wow. Wow, this is so pretty. This is a more close-up look. So, so, so pretty. Wow. Let's do swatches first. All right, here are all the swatches. Well, that's going to be hard to see. <laughs> okay, here are all the swatches. This is how it looks like. They look really nice and they're very, they feel really soft as well. So I really, really like that. I'm really curious to see what look I'm going to come up with today because I'm honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to come up with. I don't know. Right, so you definitely have a gray variety in here some really beautiful shades in here that you can create a lot of looks a lot of greens in here which i love you know i love greens a lot of um like yellowish mustardy tones as well some grays in there some browns a little bit of a red the purple so there's a lot to play with in here but what i think i'm gonna go with today i'm gonna go with more like a red purple uh, I look something that I don't usually go for but why not let's try something different today you know what I mean so I'm gonna go and take this giant redwood which is a red it's a really pretty red as well and I'm gonna add this almost all over my lid I think They're very nice and soft. I like that. Very easy to blend as well. Not as intense as I thought is going to be, but it's not bad. So I don't know what's happening in the nature around you, but over here, <laughs> over here in Washington State, and especially in my backyard, we have a bear that gave birth to two cubs. <laughs> we have a um, beautiful deer that gave birth to two little deers. And I also have a bunch of rabbits that gave birth that you see them, you see small little rabbits all over the yard. But one of the ones that doesn't necessarily makes me happy or smile is <laughs> the fact that I have uh, seen a baby snake today with the baby mama, with the snake mama. Uh, if you don't know, I do not like snakes. I don't understand why people would even want to have them as pets. That is truly insane to me. Truly insane to me. Um, but yeah, I don't, I, I don't like that. And I saw it today and I was like, hell no. I don't want to see you. I don't want to deal with you. Could you please take your babies and leave? Like move to the neighbor. Maybe they, they're going to like you more. Let me know down below which, what, what, um, animal you're not a big fan of so i'm gonna take the south river where is it 
yeah, Salt River, which is like a purple. And I'm gonna put this one more onto the out of portion. Ooh, I have a little bit of uh, fallout. Ooh. Let's be able to. Okay, you can clean it up. Whew. But be careful, yeah. Be careful. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of this on the outside. And then I'm going to do the same thing in the inner corner a little bit. And then maybe I'm going to put it just a tiny bit in my crease. So it doesn't have necessarily a lot of intensity, but I think that it's really nice for beginners because that's gonna help you blend really nicely like you don't have to necessarily commit to a color that look that started looking really nice so the secret question of the day I was looking and looking and also looking some more on uh, Pat McGrath and also on Natasha Denona's website. And I was thinking if I should grab either a Natasha Denona, the Sunrise palette, or, or no, the Metropolis palette, or should I grab one of the big palettes from Pat McGrath. Which is not a big difference, cause yeah, you know, it's like a $4 difference. Between the two. But which one would you prefer to see a review on? Pat McGrath? one of the big palettes, maybe even the Divine Rose 2, or Natasha Denona, the Metropolis palette. Let me know them below. Please don't say both, because I can't buy both. I can only afford to buy one. And then for the... For the shimmer that I want to put right in the center of my eyelid, I'm thinking either I'm going to go with this one or go with this one. I think I'm just going to go with this one, which is Delicate Arch. Oh my god, that is such a pretty color. And that is such a beautiful look. Wow. Sometimes I'm amazing myself. I honestly don't know how everything kind of comes together at the end because I really have no idea what I want to do. Okay, that looks absolutely beautiful. What I'm going to do for my under eyes, I'm definitely going to go with this little purple and the red and combine them together and just kind of put that under the eyelid that is a very romantic beautiful eye look I love love how everything turned out and I really do like the um, shadows on this one but I also like the formula the formula is definitely not as intense as I am used to because I have a lot of a uh, eyeshadow palettes that are very intense but this one I feel like it's even better because of that because it makes me look it makes me um blend nicely I don't have problems if I don't want to commit to a certain color they also blend really nicely on top of each other when I put that purple on top of that red it looks really really pretty now I'm gonna do Mascara. I'm not going to do liner today. I'm just going to do a mascara. So I am going to go with uh, KKW Mascara. Right. And for the lipstick, 
I am gonna go with Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in Bombshell. And uh, I want to add a little bit of liner. I'm gonna go with this one from Makeup Geek and this is in Nude. And I want to add this in my waterline. And there you go, that's the eye look. What do you guys think? I really like it. I feel like this is such a cute little eye look and a very, very beautiful eyeshadow palette. Definitely worth it. I'm definitely interested to see more from this brand. I am gonna try to buy more stuff from them, but definitely $38 for so many shades. How many shades are in here? Uh, one, two, three, five, 15. 15 shades, That I think that's a ridiculous price for the quality and the way it looks and everything that they stand for. It is a ridiculous price. Really nice, really beautiful. And look at the eye look. Very interesting. So there you have it. This is all I have for you today. Thank you so, so much for being here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. And I cannot wait to see you all next time with another one. Bye.